So tell me about the emotion. emotion. Yeah. Think of the emotion for a runner that can take over, especially when you're, when you're battling with the league too. Well, what did they say? Like 70% mental, and it really is. There was uh, definitely a spot. It often happens in my marathons, like kind of 25, 27k, where it starts to really start to notice things going on in your body, and it's so easy to let them take over. And I've done it before, but I've learned to just work past that. Get a little repetitive mantra in my head just to stay focused and it keeps my legs going. And like I said, having people out there to support you is my husband was riding a bike all over and other friends on their bike and strangers and yeah, just most emotionally it can be very taxing. So what do you what do you say through your mind? What, what goes through your mind? What's the saying that you say to yourself when you when you wanna I mean I'd love to know that because every runner has that. I I have to give him a phone call can to be like oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, no, so I, I've had different ones. Sometimes it's just run faster, run faster, stay, stay calm. Or <laughs> one of my favorites is run like a Kenyan. <laughs> run like a Kenyan, that's good. And just keep on repeating that because you know their gait and their ease when they run. And if I can just even think about that, I might be able to mimic even in just a little bit. So. And what about the beautiful day? I mean, it's oh my goodness, it was beyond perfect. I mean, last year we had a bit of wind. I run in rain and wind here. Yeah. And this is absolutely the best weather we've ever had. 